Hello, everybody. I see Karen Wilson's outside. Got the Como's out there, the Sorensen's, the Weed family. Taylor's got the beautiful background. Looks like he's a Japanese gardener or something. There you go, Lucas, are in the house. Mr. Atticus. Atticus, we're going to be grading your mom. I think we're going to have to grade her for a yellow belt. <laughs> She's working hard. I love it. I love it. Okay, got about uh, one more minute, and then we have class started. So practicing your patterns if you need to. Taking some time. everybody all right mr lee i gotta take your ball cap off thank you all right everybody thanks all here we go Chip. good you right, go on have a seat down please just sit up nice and tall close your eyes So what, I've asked this question in the other class as well, and I want to know how you guys are doing. So if you're doing really good, give me a thumbs up. If you're doing okay, give me a thumbs sideways. And if maybe you're struggling because that happens sometimes, give us a thumbs down. And it's okay to have your thumb down, right? Sometimes we, we always want to put our thumb up because we want to be positive. And I'm a pretty positive person. But there's definitely times when my thumb will be down. And we want to talk this month about arming ourselves, you know, remembering to protect ourselves against lots of things that are going to try and overwhelm us and not physical things. But it starts with our physical movement. Okay? So if I'm mentally I'm drained or I'm anxious or I'm going through depression or whatever you might be struggling with, if we get physically moving, that helps. Set our body chemistry correct. I'm not a scientist. I don't know all those fancy dual terms. I just know it. The reality is it works because I've experienced it myself. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, get moving. Do something. It could be something as simple as you're like me. I like to clean. If I feel overwhelmed, I clean things. I'm in control of them. If maybe you're one of the kids, you might want to go for a bike ride. 
you may want to just go go for a walk as a family. But you have to get active. You have to do something. That's going to help get the energy going, so then you can correct course and not be overwhelmed all the time. So arm yourself physically first. But it also includes what are you drinking? I'm on social media a lot, so adults. I'm seeing a lot of people that are, are saying they're drinking a lot, but not always drinking a lot of water. They might be drinking some wine or something else. I don't drink, so I don't get it. But some people might be, and if you're, you're one of them, I'm, I'm not judging. Oh, Mr. Noah's got water, good. Drink lots of water, okay? Every day, drink lots of water. Eat good, nutritious food every day. Make sure you keep a regular routine every day. Don't sleep too much, but get good rest. Take care of this thing that we have. We only have one of them. And every day I notice I can just get a little bit more gray in the beard. So you gotta look after yourselves a little bit more as we get a little bit older. Younger kids, you guys have a little bit more time, but don't take advantage of your time. Take care of yourself now. Training your Taekwondo, do your push ups, your sit ups, your conditioning stuff that you have to do. Miss Jaden is grading at the end of May for a black belt. And we haven't trained in person in like three, four weeks. But that doesn't mean she gets to just sort of take it easy and just walk in and she's going to get a pass on her black belt test. She needs to be ready for that black belt test. So she's got to get active. Miss Kate, who's grading for her black belt in May, has to get active. Mr. Abdallah is going to grade for his black belt in May going to get active. You guys have to be doing stuff. And it's not just, you know, a little bit of stuff. They have to do a lot of stuff because I, we might have to change the test a little bit. Sorry, I'm springing this on you right now in front of everything else. Uh, we might have to change the testing a little bit because we're not doing the regular workup to get to the test. So I, I got to make sure you guys are physically fit and all that good stuff. So we'll see what we can think of. Devious mind. Whoa. We're gonna work on some combinations tonight, linking movements together. So all from patterns and from all of the patterns, from uh, Dan Gun all the way up to Chung Moon. And it doesn't matter that you don't know the pattern. You're learning movements inside of the pattern. So like one move or two moves or three moves, that's sort of it, okay? And how we learn and link things, those movements together are universal for everything. Okay, so let's get started. Let's head up nice and tall. Let's do our tenants. Hands over front. And we say courtesy. Respect myself and others. Hands on hips. Integrity. Total honesty with myself and others. Hands over front. Perseverance. Patience. Never, never, never give up. Hands by your back. Self control. Control my thoughts, emotions, actions, and results. Indomitable spirit. Be guided by my heart. Let's exercise. Right toes and left toes. Right ankles having great balance. Left ankles even better balance. Nice. Knee bends halfway. One, two, three. All the way down. One, two, and three. Circle those knees. Get low, Mr. Matias. Get low, sir. Nice to see you. Hips. Hula, hula, hula. Both ways. Awesome. Push your head forward. And relax. Push it to the back. Relax. Do one side. To the other side, forward, back, side, side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Jog in the spot, open and close. Stretch that out. Wrist circles in and out. Elbows in and out. Shoulders back, forwards, stop. Twist your body side to side. And relax. Feet together. Put your elbows on your knees. Reaching down towards the floor. Bring your legs up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it. Ten, nine. Reach down there, Mr. Matias. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Time, come on up. Feet apart, hands overhead. Draw in big circles. One, two, and three. Other way. Three, two, 
And one. Hands behind your back. Hold it over. And up. Pull over. Two. And up. And pull over. Three. And up. Good. Stretching down to one side. And switch. And switch. And switch. And come on. All right, we're gonna get our body warmed up. So we're gonna go jog it on the spot. Ready, set, go. Jog it on the spot, jog it on the spot. Just moving your body, moving your body. When I say drop, you're gonna drop and do one push up and come right back up. Okay, when I say the word, I'm not gonna say it yet because I want anybody to do it. Good. Drop and do one push up. And right back up. Nice. And you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. So if this is kind of harsh, you don't want to do that, just do a squat. That works too. Except for you young kids, you guys have got to drop. Nice. Good work, good work. And you're back up. You're moving, you're moving. Let's go, Miss Haley. You got to keep up with your dad. Ready? And. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Drop. <laughs> oh, I'm mean. Sorry, Mr. Pass. I got you, sir. <laughs> Drop. Oh, Benjamin, a couple of couple of feet by your mom. Ready? Drop. Go, Miss Sue. Go, Miss Sue. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Like five more seconds. Ready? Drop. Drop. And time. Okay. Okay. So I was looking at the clock. I kept my like, had my time. I have my time here. Okay. So we're gonna go through basic movements. So again, linked movements. And this is something new we're putting into the curriculum as well. Okay, so the grading curriculum is gonna have some of these linked movements on your grading sheet. So let's start with yellow belt. So Dan Gunn. So right fighting stance. The linked movement from Dan Gunn is low block and high block. We take our front hand and we go low block, and then we go high block right away. But make sure we turn our hips. So it's not low block, high block. It's going to go low block, turn, high block. Okay? So from fighting stance, get ready. Every time I say one, we're going to do both of those movements. Ready? One, low block, high block. Good. Come right back. Ready? Two, low block, high block. And back. Ready? Hands are up by your chin. Three. Low block. High block. Nice. Make sure we're turning our body. And four. Low. High. Good. And five. Low. High. Change your legs. Let's do the other side. Ready? So just walk through it first. Low block. Turn to our left. And we go low, high block. Turn to our left. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. And one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Nice. Five. Change your feet. Okay. From Do San, a little bit of an unusual. We don't normally do this one, but we're going to go thrust, release, and then spin back this. So, Let's just do it with our right leg going forward because that's how we are in the pattern. So right leg forward, left hand drops, right hand thrust over top. Okay, that's it. So we're doing this position. Again, right leg is forward. Now we're going to rotate our body so our feet face to the left side. Ready? So thrust, release. We're breaking into movements. So we thrust and release. Nice. For those of us who feel really comfortable with this motion, we can start from here. So bring our hands back, push, and thrust. If you feel comfortable with it. If you don't feel that comfortable with it, just go into that position. You're good. Release. Boom. That's it. So this hand has to stay beneath their elbow. Okay? We're not down here. We're just stuck right there. And then we're going to continue the motion. Step around with our left leg, left back fist. Okay, let's do it again. 
Right leg goes forward, thrust. Release. So our left leg is the one that's going to step all the way around and back this with our left hand. I'm going to back up. So Mr. Ola will back up for you guys to watch our feet a little bit. Okay? Right walking stance. Thrusting with our right hand. Release. Turning to our left. Okay? So if you watch our left or our right foot, sorry, it's going to keep turning. My heel goes forward. Down up. I step around. Back. That's the stuff. And then just step forward again with your right foot and go right back there. That's the, sit, the finish of those three moves in the pattern. Let's do it again. Ready? Go step forward, thrust. Release. Spin all the way around. Back this. Good. Then go forward, back this. Nice. So when we back this, it's like doing a inner form block. We go from underneath to the inside. And we're just being consistent with that same kind of motion because the hand is really turning. If you can see in the camera, it turns sort of that way as we back this. It is that outside rotation. It should come from underneath. And we just want to be consistent. So when we do a back fist in Dosan, do a back fist in Jungun, it should be the same movement. Okay? All right. So just for fun, and because it's challenging, we're going to go left thrust. This will feel really funny for those of us who don't, who don't normally do the thrust with this side. It'll feel funny. Okay? And we're only practicing because it says... We're going to practice right and left side. Now we rotate, boom, we break. We are now facing towards our right side. And our left, our left foot, keep that rotation. Right foot comes around, right back this. Good, then step forward, left back this. Nice job, you guys. Good, come on back. Okay, that does feel very weird. So if it felt weird for you, you're totally good. All right, we're going to go to one yellow. So this is our green belt. And the block that we want to work on is the 45 degree circular or the circular block. Okay, so it's just this motion. It's hard to pick up in the camera. We're going to go through it just a little bit slow. We're going to start left walking stance. Left leg goes forward. Our left hand goes down first and just drops down in front. And my right hand is going to scoop underneath and it just pops out. I turn my shoulder. So if you can really tell, my body is turned over my front leg, so my left leg, and I'm facing towards that direction. My blocking hand is in the opposite direction. So I'm turning my whole body. Okay? What we try not to do is stay like this. So if you can see, my shoulders are going straight forward. It's hard to see in a black uniform. I apologize for that, but my shoulders are facing straight forward. I want to be, boom, sideways. Okay? Let's do a couple of those blocks. That's it, Mr. Pass. You got it. You know the rhythm. Here we go. 45 degree circle blocks. So we scoop up underneath. One. Good. So remember, we're using our right hand. Our right leg is back. We're in a left walking stance. So let's do it again. 45 degree circle block. Left leg is forward. Right leg is back. We're walking with our right hand. Two. Good. Let's do it again. Three. Boom. And four. Boom. Good. And five. Let's go, Mr. Landon. Let's go. That's it. Turn your shoulders more. Yes, that's the way, Landon. Good. Let's change your legs. Okay. Now we're in a left fighting stance. Right leg is forward. We're going to block with our left hand. Right hand drops first. Left hand scoops underneath. And we block. Boom. One. Okay. Ready? Let's do it five times. One. Good. And two. two. Nice. And three. And four. Good. And five. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So a couple of questions that we usually get about this one is what direction should we go? If you're old, old school, so Mr. Pass and myself, we would have learned this one as if someone is attacking us straight forward. And we're stopping a front kick, and we're going to scoop up underneath that leg and throw it off to the side. We started to look at that and make an adjustment and say, well, what if that person was kicking over on this side? So it becomes more of a sweep along this front side of my body. Okay, so it's a sweep along this edge here. So it's a nice straight line now. 
the idea, the block is itself is the same. The mentality of what I'm stopping is different. That's it. But I'm still making sure this hand goes down first and the deflecting. Boom. Finish my ball. Okay. Now let's link it together with the other couple of moves, the other three moves from that part of the pattern in one yoke. Now that we practice that block, let's go. 45 D circle block. Boom. Okay. Good. Back leg front kick. Reverse punch. Now, when we finish the front kick, we're stepping forward and we're going to punch with our back hand. So let's go again. From left, left fighting, or right fighting stance, left leg is forward. Left walking stance, 45 degree circular walk. Right leg kicks. Left hand punches. That's it. Let's do it one more time. Ready? And we go. One, two, two, three, three. Nice. Hold that position now. We're just going to go to the other side. One. 45 degree circular block. Feels funny. We're on the other side. Back leg front kick. Reverse punch. That's it. Step good. Okay, come on back. Let's do it one more time. All six moves in this part. Ready? 45 degree circular block. One. Boom. Back leg front kick. Reverse punch. Two. 45 degree circular block. Back leg front kick. Reverse punch. Nice. Okay. So for green belts, and even for those of us who are seniors, when we're doing that part of the pattern, although it looks like we're punching with our front hand, we're not. So after I do my block and I kick, I reach this hand out to drive this hand for power. It's not a punch. Okay, so green belts. We're not going to go punch, punch. We're not doing this moment. Block, kick. We're not punching twice. We're reaching and driving for power with that second hand. Okay? So just be aware of that. All right, you go. You go. Blue strike. Bending ready stance. Side kick. Middle elbow strike. That's our combination. Okay? So let's break it down a little bit. Bending ready stance. Mr. Earl and I were just talking about this. And sometimes, probably not from you guys, but sometimes we see this. As people do bending ready stance, they go. So really, they're just doing a side kick. There's no bending ready stance. We want to pause. Pause. And then throw our kick. Okay, so make sure we're pausing. Ready? So bending ready stance. Draw our hands backwards. I'm going to stand sideways. My hands go negative first. They go backwards and then forward. Boom. And I hold. Pop. Good. Hold it. Wait for everybody. Hold it there. Good. Wait for you, Mr. Lyman. Let's go, Mary. We're all waiting. Good. Then side kick. Boom. Nice. Then as we step out, we're going to reach with our left hand and drive with our back. That's it. Middle section, elbow. Okay. Let's do it again. Ready? 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 Stands. One. Hold it. Good, two, kick, three, elbow strike. Nice. So the other question I get is the height of where this elbow should be. Should it be down here or should it be straight across? And it should go straight across. Just for consistency, it could drop down. If, if I was hitting Mr. Sebastian, it's a little bit lower, I'd have to drop my elbow down. I couldn't go straight across, I'd be missing, right? So understanding that part of it, but for the patterns, we want to go straight across like I'm sparring somebody my own size. I'm going to hit myself right towards the chest or the face. Okay, front hand reaches out, back elbow strikes. Okay, let's do this side, then we're going to go to the opposite side. Right, so stay in our right fighting stance. Then you ready stance, one. Hold it. Good, two, kick, elbow strike. Boom. Nice. Now, because in the pattern, we actually start facing the opposite direction. So we're going to do that. We're going to lift our right leg, but you're going to face away from the camera to do this. Boom. Okay. Hold it. Good. Side kick. Middle elbow strike. Nice. Come back to face the camera. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Ready? Bending ready stands. One. Hold it. Good. Two kick. Three elbow strike. 
That's the one. Now we'll go to the back. So we'll lift our right leg. Bend your ready, Sam. Side kick. Elbow strike. And come back. Back to the front. Good. Okay. So again, at juniors, so like Landon and Kaylee, uh, Steph, you know, you guys, and even uh, Atticus's mom, Miss Melissa, I mean, you guys are learning this stuff, although you don't need to know it right now. But it's good that you practice it now because it just works on certain things, works on your balance, your strength, all that other stuff. So we're going to go into blue belt, June gun. I kind of debated which one to do this. Uh, so I've got Mary, who's a blue belt. Mary, which part of this pattern do you want to do? Would you rather go through close hand pressing block or would you rather go through release high punch? You tell me. I'm going to let you decide. Oh, the pressing block? Okay. Yeah, that's that's the one I, I think I had. Yep. yep, I had that one. Totally. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go right fighting stance. So in the pattern, so for those of you who don't know the pattern, it goes close hand guarding block, and then we call it a pressing block. And then we go forward, close hand guarding block, and pressing block. Okay, so that's the sequence of movements we're going to do. Don't worry, you're going to slow it right down. But I wanted to show you the sequence of movements. Okay, so right fighting stance. Boom. All right. So when we do this motion, we go from close hand guarding block, we bring our left foot in, our right hand goes up. And when I slide my foot out, I turn and push my right hand down to the floor. My left hand is pushing up. Okay. And then I step forward with my right leg. I go close hand guarded block, go left belt hand. Mr. McKee's got to be more sideways, side facing. That's it. And as I turn, I reach, I turn into my walking stance. So make sure our fingers are together and our thumbs are open because we are scooping and pushing. Okay? We're scooping and pushing down. Okay, let's do that section that section again. Ready? From close hand guarding block. And we're gonna press. So our, our back hand, our right hand goes up, and our left hand pushes up, and our right hand pushes. Okay, so let's just do that motion again. So just from that position, that left walking step. Open our hands up. That's it. And it's going to move your hands and your shoulders and hips, pushing down and pressing up. That's it. One more time. Same motion. Let's go, Mr. David. Press. That's it. Okay. Remember, fingers together. Reach again. Reach and just turn. Okay, so really think about this one pushing down hard and this one pushing up. Okay, now, what's the purpose of this technique? What's the purpose of the pressing block? What do you guys think? Who thinks we're stopping a kick and a punch at the same time? I'm going to attack Mr. Earl. Who thinks that one? Anybody? No? Oh, Miss Steph, yeah. And it could be. No, no, it's, it's not wrong, right? Like, it's, it's not wrong. It's, that's what. If I talked to Grandmaster Troy, he would say, that's what we were doing. We're deflecting a kick and we're deflecting a punch. Now, are they at the same time? I don't know, maybe, but I want to learn how to push and pull at the same time. What I started to think about with this one is I'm actually pushing down on the head and I'm training the shoulders. I'm actually doing this motion and it's a throw. Okay, so lifting up on the arm. My girl, Mr. Earl, I'm gonna push up on his arm, I push down on his head. So that's the motion I want. Okay, so same motion, but it's a bit of a spin to it. Okay, so that's what I think of when I see pressing ball. I see that motion. But whatever you think about, make sure it's strong. Let's do it. Right leg, and then we're gonna step forward and do our left leg. Ready? So close hand guarded block. And pressing block. One. Good, go forward, close hand guarding ball. Strong, and pressing ball, two. Nice, now go backwards, one. And pressing ball, two. 
Going backwards, getting tricky. Go backwards, close hand right block. And pressing block. Good, relax. Okay, any questions about a pressing block? I know there's lots of you know, mechanical things inside of it. For juniors, we just want to learn the, the motions. We don't really care that it's perfected yet. Blue belts, this is where we start to do this. And seniors, we really want to get into this. Okay, all right, uh, toy game. And for toy game, and again, Atticus is our red stripe. Who's on the call right now? Uh, Matthias, you red stripe. Uh, Lucas is red stripe. Okay. So for you guys, I had planned one, two. Okay. You want that one, or do you want to do mountain blocks? Which one? You want this? You want the mountain blocks? Okay, mountain blocks. Okay. All right. We're, so mountain blocks. Just for the record, I hate mountain blocks. I'm just going to say it out there now. I, I do. I hate them because I, I don't know the purpose of them. When I asked her, I'm actually trying this. I asked him this years ago, and I asked, sir, mountain blocks. And he said, exercise. <laughs> so that's a commonality of we don't care about this, this movement. But it's in the pattern. It's in there seven times, so we got to be really good at it. So here's how we do mountain blocks. Sitting stands. Put our hands up. We're doing like two blocks at once, okay? Yep, we're gonna have our palms facing our head. This is our finished position. So it's called a mountain block or sometimes called a W-shaped block because you're really making a W with your arms in your head, okay? So when we do this motion, we go negative first. So I'm gonna go towards my left. So my left hand is actually gonna pull away from the direction I'm gonna go. And my right leg is going to go towards the direction I'm going to go. You see that? Yep. That negative motion. Okay. And then we just finish the motion. So we go one step in here. Nice. Okay. Now let's go back the other way. So we're going to go again towards our left. So my left hand pulls back. My right leg goes forward. And we turn into it. <laughs> See why they're why they're not very good blocks, right? Yeah, that's it. So part of this is just you have to learn the mechanics. So if you want to practice these at home, a great way to practice. So Benjamin, you need to know these for your next um, grading, right? Like this is part of your belt testing stuff. So a great way to do this is we practice like this. So if Mr. Earl takes his mountain block position, and I'm going to get him to go towards his left. I'm going to hold his right arm so it can't move. Okay, then he can get that twist. That's what I want. Ready? So he starts to go boom, and then I let it go, and he just rolls into it. So it's a way to practice that motion of turning. Okay. Now for red stripes, we have a mechanical part of it. Remember, every block has to rotate our arms, and this is no different. We start with our hands actually rotating, so palms go away. And then we go through our motion. As we finish our motion, we're going to go, palms will rotate towards our head. One, bam, and they finish. Okay? Remember we're doing the blocking pattern? Inward block? It's that motion. In the direction I'm going, if I'm going to block towards the camera, I go inward block. Boom. Inward block. Okay? Again, go towards the camera, inward block. All right? So let's just practice it like five times. And again, not worry too much about, you know, Taylor and Miss Sue, uh, you know, Levi. You guys, you, you guys don't know, need to know this block right now, but it's okay to practice it right now. Ready? So, mountain blocks. I'm going to do them going towards the camera just because it looks different. Ready? So, again, we rotate our hands, palms away from our head, and are going to our left. My right leg moves, my left arm pulls back, and I go boom. Okay? And we, again, we go again, we're gonna rotate our hand. We can think about our right elbow coming towards our left knee, and we turn. Okay? All right. How's it feeling? About as good as I think they feel? Yeah. Path says yes, that path likes them. Yeah, just keep practicing. 
just keep going through them, okay? And you'll have to think about the mechanics and what makes sense to you to do it, okay? I always think about the negative motion. Master Gibson would say, bring your right elbow to your left knee and go to your block. Left elbow to right knee and you go to your block, right? So whatever kind of works for you in your brain, just keep practicing it that way. So Mr. Ben, do not see your mountain blocks. Good. And go. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you guys like one more minute. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing, Ben. Still trying to get your upper half and lower half separated. Upper half and lower half should separate. Okay. Keep practicing. That's Ben going. Let's see. Nice. Let's see this one. Let's see. Do a couple for me. One. Nice, Landon. Two. Yep, that's it, Landon. Good movement for it. Right? Good basic mechanics for it. Yep. All right, and stop. Okay, um, I know this is a tough walk, which is why I picked it. Rocky Wyattic has picked it, and Matthias wanted to do it as well. Um, it is a tough one just because of the mechanical nature of it. And going, Your body has to go in two different directions, which is really tough. And a lot of us end up getting really stiff through the shoulders and the hips. So it just looks like this. Like I'm just turning like a board, right? I'm not moving my whole body. Uh, so we got to just work on that flexibility through our core muscles, our core muscles. All right. Uh, so we're going to go to Huarang next. So this is our red belt pattern. And again, I know like Landon is like a, a white belt. He's, I mean, he's got lots of classes in, but he's just, he's a white belt. And he's learning all these new other techniques, right? And it's good. Just practice them. And we just practice the movement of them. So Huarang, I want to go into the sliding elbow and then the two blocks. Okay, so this is one part I see a lot when I watch people do this pattern. Uh, Kieran, who's a red belt on the video right now, I see him do the same movement. I was watching Miss Kate uh, in a private lesson earlier, and I saw her do the same thing. So we're going to practice it. So we're going to go X block, the so walking stance, and X block. So if my left leg is forward, my left hand goes first, right hand over top. Mr. Ian, you need to stay focused, sir. Okay, so we're in that X block. Then we're gonna pull our right leg and slide towards the camera and do a back elbow. Okay, so if I turn sideways this way, I'm in an L stance, my right elbow is the one that's attacking. That's it. And you're just peeking over top of your right shoulder. Nice. Okay, come back, let's do that motion again. And then we're gonna add the next two blocks. Ready? Here we go. X. Good. Right foot. Fold around, side elbow. Remember, L stance. Good. All right. Okay, come on back. Now we're going to do the next two blocks. We're going to separate them out. So we just practice them first, and then we'll put them together in the link. So the next two blocks are an inward block and a low block. So middle section, inner form block, and a low block. Okay. And we go up on our toes, and we're going to and change our hand. So remember when we're doing these blocks, we still want to be 45 degrees away, or just past 90 degrees with our, our elbow. Okay, up and turn. Boom. Change your hand. Uh, yeah, so always one going inside, one going outside. And I get to determine which one would be our primary. Mr. Levi, turn your hand. Your fist should be facing towards you, your palm towards you. Yep. So I always go with my downward block being my primary, so it goes inside, and my other one goes outside. Actually, it makes sense because we're doing a middle block and an outer forearm block. So it makes sense. Okay, so the one, two, good. And we can turn our shoulders as we go up. One, turn, two, turn. Okay, so now let's link it together with those other X block and elbow. Let's go. Fighting stance. Ready. X block. Boom. Nice. Side elbow. 
drive it. Awesome, then we turn. Up, one. And two. That's it. Okay, come on back. Okay, we're gonna try this one, one more time, ready? Whose mind's exploding? Anybody head exploding right now? Anybody? Okay, Benjamins, good. You know when it explodes, it means we're growing, right? I know, I get it, brother. You guys are doing great. Just practice this stuff. Remember, this is not part of your testing. You're just learning this stuff to have fun with it. Okay, ready, X block, boom. If you see the sound effects, it really helps. It totally does. Then side elbow, kapow. Then we pull our left foot to our right foot and we turn. Inward, inward. Nice. Good work, Ben. You got it. You got it. Hey, uh, hey, we family. Uh huh. Good. Um, so last one we want to do, and it's from Miss Gaden's. And I, I thought of the kicking combinations. So Jaden and Jack, because you guys are the only black stripes that we have on here right now. Um, you want to do that one, or is there something else inside your pattern you want to help with? So I'm thinking back, like turning kick, back kick, and close hand right block after that. That's okay. Okay, let's do that one. Because it's kicking, and we haven't done a lot of kicking tonight. So we're going to do this kicking combination. Okay, so it's two kicks. And as we kick after the first one, we're going to bring our feet back together, right? So fighting sets. Go back leg, turning kick. Boom. Bring your feet together. Then spin back. Boom. And then turn and face the opposite direction. Close hand right above. Okay? I, it's I it's know, crazy. crazy. It's crazy. Ready? Start again. One. Kick. Boom. Back kick. Boom. Close hand right above. Put your face in the opposite direction. How ninja is that? That's it, Steph. That's it. I know. I just play with your emotions right now. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get hate mail. <laughs> I'm gonna get the flaming bag of, of stuff on my doorstep. Ready? <laughs> sets. Back leg journey kick. One. Back kick. Two. Oh, boom. All right. So who can tell me what's the main like when we do kicks in your patterns in any patterns? What's the most important part about doing our kicks? What do we have to do with it? Got a chamber, Miss Sue says chamber, yeah, that's important. Ah, Mr. Sebastian's doing it. He's holding his kick, he's thrusting his kick, okay? So it's not a snap, it's a boom, and then a re-chamber, and then boom, and then a re-chamber, right? So even though we're not, we don't necessarily need to Hold it out there. We do want it to pause. We want to show that you have control of it. Okay? Let's go through that kicking combination five times. This is it. Last five things we're doing tonight. Fighting stance. I'm going to watch. Ready. And back leg turning. Good. Back kick. Boom. Nice. Reach chamber and close hand guard above. Nice. Okay. Come on back. Let's do it again. I really want to see the chamber or the, the extension to hold the thrust. Okay, ready? Here we go. Back leg turning kick. Back kick. Nice. And close hand guarding ball. Awesome. Okay. So one other thing that you guys can add, we're still going to do it three more times. But one other thing that you can add is after our back kick, I'm trying to figure out which way I should go. This way, back kick, boom. Arms have to go away. Right? I still have to chamber up for my block. So black strike, that just black strikes with everybody. Anytime we're doing a movement, we're kicking, and we're going to go to blocking neck, we still have to chamber our blocks. Okay, so we go back kick, shoot, up, and then go to my next motion. So you don't want to rush through it, I don't want to fall forward, I want to have good balance. Okay, three more times through that combination. Ready? Right stance, and back leg turning. Back kick. Re chamber, hands. Yep. Good. Okay. And we come back. Do it again. Yep. That's it. You're going to go away from the camera when you finish that block. Okay. You're going to block towards that back wall. Here we go. Two more times. Ready? Back leg turning. Back kick. 
That's it. Close hand. That's it, Benjamin. Nice movement, sir. That's it. Okay, come on back. One more time. Ready? Last one. Here we go. Back leg turning. Spin back. Good. Close hand. Nice, Jack. That's it. Good work, you guys. Good work. Uh, we brothers, you guys are facing like opposite directions there. It's kind of crazy. Maybe if you're using Buddhist, it might be okay. Okay. All right, one sec. Okay. So, um, no real homework for you guys tonight. All right. If, because again, we went through so many things. But if you have anything uh, you have the questions about, inside of your patterns or inside of your grading. Um, you know, the private lessons that we want to do from like 1 to 1.30, 2 to 2.30, those are your times. Like, like if you are ready for a strike test, I, know, I don't know when we're going to get back together live and in person, but it doesn't mean you have to stop the progression. Right? So Ms. Jaden, is, we're still planning on the end of May for your belt test for black belt. And if I'm praying hard that it's live and in person. But if not, it might be like this, right? If that's what we decide to do as a group, if you and Ms. Kate and Abdallah and myself, if we all get together and decide that's gonna be the best thing, then that's what we're gonna do, right? And that's okay. But anything that you guys have questions about inside of your grading, ask those questions, send me a video, and I'll do a video for you back of answering any of the techniques that you might have questions about and give you my opinion on how they should be delivered. Because they do differ, although they shouldn't much, but how I deliver a technique might be different how Mr. Earl delivers a technique, right? And it's just how it is, and it's okay as long as the basic fundamentals are still the same, and they are, so that's good. So that's, your, that's really your home, okay? Let's do a breathing exercise, hands together. On the count of three, two, one. Breathe in, love. Family, enthusiasm, romance, desire, hate, hope, passion, and vision in out of your body. Fear, worry, anxiety, hatred, revenge, and good thinking, superstition, and blame. All good things in. Anything I don't need, I just let it go. Breathe in love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for myself. And I breathe out love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement. Start when we come in contact. All right, so just a couple quick announcements before we dismiss. Um, we have no classes on Friday, Saturday, or Monday of next weekend, because it is Easter weekend. We are looking at opening, hopefully, for live classes on May the 4th. Be with us. Um, we are renovating like mad down the uh, other school. Mr. Earl is down there um, breaking drywall with hammer fists and stuff. And, um, we're having them break concrete boards. Yep, just like that, Mr. Sebastian. I can't strike through stuff. Uh, he took down an entire wall like that. It was crazy ninja. Um, and no major injuries except when I dropped a board on his head. So it was good. It was good. There was no real blood. But, but no damage was done. No, no damage was done. So no no damage. damage was done. He's a, he's a martial artist. He's strong. So renovations are going well. Uh, you know, super busy with a lot of that stuff. But remember your homework. Even though we're super busy with all that stuff, your homework, send me a video of any questions you have. Ms. Haley, you kind of have a built-in instructor right there, so he can answer any of your questions, right? But maybe you want to ask me a question just because, you know, I'm not that. That's how it happens sometimes. I'm sure Mr. Pass would go, yeah, maybe you just ask Mr. Rowe, because I'll probably tell you exactly the same thing he's telling you, but just from somebody else, okay? Uh, but any questions you guys have, just send them over to us. We'll do videos for you and answer those questions, okay? Let's dismiss. Hey, center. Two. Yeah. Go on. One virtual high five. Three, two, one. Boom. Shaka luck. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Drink lots of water. I like it, Mr. Landon. I like yeah. it. See you guys. Yeah, we'll drink water. Bye. Yeah. Drink water, not Kool-Aid. No.